All right, here we go. We got an audience here. So she wants she wants to know what's going on. She's curious. Anyway, so we're going to open up the case. This is a wonderful EVH hard shell case. Um, you can get these for uh, about $179. All right, Harley, moving up. So here we go, man. This is my... Uh, uh, PB Wolfgang special and uh, these are you know these are Wolfgang special cases because they're uh, molded to fit exactly for that body style and these have a uh, the cubby hole storage place right here and the uh, key there's the key to life what strap but what we're going to do today is we're going to we're going to upgrade these locking nuts here because after these guitars, they, I don't know, those locking nuts just get kind of bad. So I ordered some um, some red ones. These are titanium. Uh, well, usually I get the stainless steel. Uh, but these are titanium. You can tell it's from Effitone, which is a great uh, place to do upgrades on your guitar when it comes to the, the locking nuts and uh, tremolo system upgrades. Uh, this one here is still the PV branded for Rose. So, but anyway, let's get this changed out real quick. It'll just take a minute, uh, but it's going to make a, a difference because these are starting to get where you try to tighten them down. I mean, snug them up. You don't want to do them real, real, real tight, of course. But you can just feel on the inside when you put your uh, Allen wrench on there that they're getting, they're just starting to, to wear. You know, so, all right, let's check it out. All right, and here's the result. So now we got these red uh, titanium locking screws in, which uh, you don't have to worry about these stripping or anything else from the top. Here's the old ones, and they just uh, they just starting to get a little wear on them, man. They just old, you know. Just old. So get rid of those, and uh, yeah, that red goes perfect with the the body here so awesome man and we also got uh we got to check this out too i ordered a i think it's a what do you call it a, this is a mini vibe pedal hendrix is it mini vibe what is it what are we looking at here yep univibe and the mini univibe yeah yeah i've been wanting a univibe pedal for a while um Let's see, this is the first time I've opened this up. Man, paperwork and everything. So, there we go. Man, the guy said it was in excellent condition. I gotta check this out, man. And it's got an adapter. That's awesome, which I don't need that right now. I'm gonna put it on my pedal board. I think they said a Velcro on it already. Yep, he does. He does, he does. I can see it. Let's see if we can... Is there a way we can get this out of the pack? <coughs> Kind of hard to do when you're just operating a camera. And so there we go, man. The Hendrix Univive. I can't wait to check this out. I wonder if that if that switch is like on the MXR EVH pedals. If you if you hit that, it's going to automatically dial it in to what how Hendrix had his effect. I don't know. We'll find out though. Stay tuned. Can you like move? Quit being so curious. All right, here we go. The uh, Hendrix Mini Vibe is on the board. I just uh, moved my TS9 over just a little bit and we got a perfect spot. And we got her loaded up. We just need to give it a shot here. Give it a go, as they say. Um, this is my Zoom G1X4. It's where I get the main tones for what I'm doing. So I'm not going through, I'm not going through an amp. You know, so we use a guitar effects processor to dial in what we want. Uh, expression pedal, which I don't use. Um, I thought that uh, when you engage this, it would work on every preset, which you actually have to uh, turn it on to be able to use it. And it's kind of a pain in the ass. So I don't use that expression pedal. They have two versions. They have this with the expression pedals, like $99. And then if you get it without... And you just have this section, you know, the main section. That's only like $89. So I just use the the wah pedal instead. So we got the uh, 
this board. So all these, from this pedal, I'm sorry, from these pedals on, and this one too, I'm, I'm, there, I'll get it right. All these are, like if this was my amp, all these would be in front of the amp, right? And then coming out, you want to have your delays and your reverbs. And so there's the Echoplex, that's the first uh, delay. And then we go to the second board, and this is a Harmonist, a PS6 Harmonist, to get that 5150 or OU812 or, you know, whatever kind of sound you want, uh, quintessence harmonizer, uh, DD5 delay, dispatch master for your reverb and delay all in one, if that's what you want. Let me slide over here. I'm sitting down. So as you can see, I mark my stuff. So, well, of course it's not on the settings I have there. I got it just, I'm using the reverb setting only for this pedal. And this is a yellow fall Donner. It's a delay. It's pretty good. It was like 30 bucks. Not bad. I mean, any almost any delay pedal is gonna sound really good if you put it in the effects loop of an amp. So what I did is I just kind of created my homemade effects loop which is no big deal. I just made sure to put these pedals after the unit. Because if you put it in front, it's going to sound like garbage. But when delays and reverbs are put after your amp or, you know, your effects processor, it's going to be great. And then we have a uh, loop, RC3 looper. And I got the expression, not expression, I'm thinking about this over here. I got this extra uh, additional pedal so when you want to stop the loop originally you have to step on this twice pop pop you know and it's kind of hard to do while you're playing so uh, if you're in the middle of playing some chords so it's a lot easier just to step on this once and it shuts it off and then you just step on that once to re-engage your loop so these pedal boards i got uh from amazon as well i think uh donner i think uh, they also made these boards or they supplied them but I got them from Amazon, power supply, all that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> uh, this is just really cool, man. I mean, you know, it's a, I like to have a lot of grease on my guitars, as Steve Lukather would say, which means effects, you know. I got an extra, um, this cable here is coming out of the power supply right there. And that is for when I want to use my um, flanger because it's a 12, I mean, an 18 volt. 18 volts so that's what that one cable is for it's uh it'll give you 18 volts so i have it just sitting here right now because it's not engaged um i need to I need to go ahead and play a little bit of unchained or something i haven't played it in a while but got to stay on top of these songs man if you want to <laughs> stay half ass decent as uh, you know but I'm, i want to try this right now i'm really anxious to hear what this sounds like man so let's let's uh, see what we got here <laughs> Thank you. 